Lights are out, we're going green flag racing this time, coming off of turn number four. Justin Switzer leads him down to the cone. Green flags in the air, we're underway with night number two of the CK Nationals here in Bakersfield, California. Switzer leads him down the back straight over here, comes Steven Johnson now to his inside as they go into three and four. Three wide, going into turns three and four for third. The hitman Kyle Hedge been making the bottom work in that drive off of turn number four. We gave lap number one to the four of Justin Switzer. Switzer, Steven Johnson, Kyle Heckman in the P3. Brock Hamilton and Cody Johnson rounding out the field. Kyle Heckman once again going down to the bottom side as we have Steven Johnson and Justin Switzer through the middle of three and four. Here comes the hitman Kyle Heckman. Heckman pulling the left front all the way around the bottom side of turns one and two. Down the back straight they go. Good drive into three and four. Out front it is the number four of Justin Switzer. But here comes the hitman, Kyle Heckman, the elite signs, 27X. He'll get it done coming off of turn number four down the front way to me. For lap number three, we've got a new leader, the hitman, Kyle Heckman. Heckman off of turn number four, side by side for second between Steven Johnson and Justin Switzer. Switzer pulling off second that time by another side by side. The advantage goes to the 26, but here comes the run from the four down the back straight to me into turns three and four. Out front, it's Kyle Heckman. Here comes Steven Johnson. They're going to be side by side at the strike. Give it to Steven Johnson that time by six laps down. We got two more remaining. We'll get the white flag next time coming off a of turn at number four. Very hooked up, racy, fast track. But Kyle Heckman starting in P5 has made his way all the way through the field for an opportunity at 120 points for heat race number one. Six laps down. We'll get the white flag this time by coming off of turn number four. Heckman, Johnson, Schweitzer, Johnson, and Hamilton. White flag will fly one more time around for the hitman Kyle Heckman as they go down in turns one and two. It's Heckman by .58 seconds over Steven Johnson. Steven Johnson trying to take a peek to the bottom in turns one and two. Loses the drive coming off of two. Heckman by three cars going into three and four. Coming to the strike, heat race number one going to the hitman, Kyle Heckman. Steven Johnson in the number two spot, Justin Schweitzer, Cody Johnson, and Brock Hamilton rounding out the field. As you can see, Johnson and Hamilton both getting a little bit sideways as they go into turn number one after crossing the stripe for the checkered flag. So give it up for Kyle Heckman. Rounding out the field, green flag will fly. We're underway with heat race number two for the IMCA Modifieds. Ethan Dotson taking the beat to the inside of Dakota Schweitzer. They're three wide coming off a of turn number two. Oh, mama. It's going to be Ethan Dotson by a nose as they go down the front, waiting for lap number one. Chad Johnson in the number two spot. Dakota Schweitzer in the number three. Ethan Dotson, Chad Johnson, Dakota Schweitzer, Nicholas Johnson, and Rick Diaz rounding out your field for heat race number two so far. Lap number two down the back straightaway. Ethan picking up right where he left off in the middle of the field. Starting inside row number two at P3. Ethan Dotson looking to pick up 110 points. He can finish out in front of the field where he is right now. Chad Johnson currently sits second. Nicholas Johnson sitting third. Dakota Schweitzer fourth. Rick Diaz from Los Banos, California, currently sitting P5. Halfway through this one, four laps down, four laps remaining for Ethan Dotson. And Ethan Dotson racing Terry Henry's race prep number 70, 174. Ethan Dotson out front by five cars as they come down the back straight into three and four. Dotson all the way up, ripping the lip. Coming off of turn number four. Dotson, uh, John, Dot, Dotson, Johnson, Johnson, Schweitzer, and Diaz. White flag will fly this time for the 174 Golden Empire towing machine as he rockets into turns one and two. Ethan Dotson. Carrying that left front once again all the way into turns one and two. Down the back straight they go into three and four. Dotson by a straightaway. Ethan Dotson picking up heat race number two for the IMCA stock cars. Jack Johnson the number two spot. Nicholas Johnson. 
Dakota Schweitzer and Rick Diaz rounding out that top five. That's going to do it for heat race number two for the IMCA Stock Cars. Coming up next is going to be the IMCA Northern Sport Mods. Daniel West picked up a victory just about four weeks ago in that Sidebiter chassis number 27 on the point. So we got some heavy hitters for heat race number one of the Northern IMCA Sport Mods. Green flag is in the air. Down to the bottom side goes Daniel West and turns one and two around the outside. Here comes the 77W of Mike Wells. West is going to make that bottom work coming off of turn number four. Going to float right across the whiskers of the 77W of Mike Wells. Give it to the 27, Daniel West. Here comes Jason Nation now taking a peek to the inside. Almost going three wide as Wells gets on the binders coming off of turn number two. So it's West now, Jason Nation in the number two spot. Mike Wells, Jason Nation, Joe Baker, Tyler Bannister, Dylan Potter, and John Piker rounding out the field. We're getting no transponder out of the 15th of Marcus Frazier. We got two laps down, making three this time by their nose to tail going into turns one and two. Jason Nation all over the backside of the 27th of Daniel West. He's going to give him a shove down the back, straight away into three and four. Nation now to the bottom side. Oh, Wells getting it wrong over there in turn number three. Gets into the door of the 29 of Joe Baker, but no harm, no foul. They keep them going in the right direction. Wells getting the worst of that one. Going from third all the way back to the back of the field. Out front, it is still Daniel West holding out the hard charging. 83 of Jason Nation. Nation now around the outside. Can he get the RPM run? He runs out of room a little bit going out the back straightaway. Jason Nation trying to get around Daniel West. Six laps down, two laps remaining. Who's it going to be? Will it be West or Nation? Still not out of it. Big Dan Tyler Bannister in the victory circle. Seems since suspension pitching 151. Here comes Nation around the outside. They're side by side coming off a of turn number four. Coming to the white flag. Jason Nation to the front. West hooking the bottom and turns one to two. Tries to get the drive, but it's going to be Jason Nation by two cars as he goes into three and four. Check the flag. Will fly. Coming off a of turn number four. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Jason Nation, heat race number one. Daniel West, number two spot. Tyler Bannister, Joe Baker, and Dylan Potter rounding out your top five. Adam Baker, Austin Manzella, Matt Mayo, and Nick Spain Howard. Green flag is in the air. Heat race number two for the IMCA Northern Sport Mods. Jason Bannister slides himself going into turns one and two. Gets around Gonzalez. He'll lead him by one car link going into turns three and four. Bannister. Jay gone, P2. Here comes the 11B of Baker. Brian Baker, he'll get P3. It's going to be Pearson in the number four spot. Bannister out front by a straightaway already in heat race number two. Gonzalez and Pearson side by side. Oh, it goes around the 11B of Baker. That's going to collect the 13M of Matt Mayo and the 40 of Nick Spain Howard. So Brian Baker in the Razor chassis. Baker Fabrication 11B around he goes all by his lonesome but collects the 13M of Matthew Mayo. Ring flag is in the air. Bannister leads him down the front right in the turns one and two. Now Pearson taking a peek to the inside. Here comes the 04 of Austin Manzella. Manzella out of nowhere getting two into turns one and two on the bottom side. Now he's looking at the back side of Justin Gonzalez. It's going to be Bannister. Justin Gonzalez, Austin Manzella, David Pearson, and here comes the 17A of Adam Baker. Looking to the inside of the 21P of Pearson. Can't quite get there out front. Jason Bannister already has a big advantage over Justin Gonzalez. Zero, four laps down, four laps remaining. We're halfway there for heat race number two. Gonzalez, Pearson, here comes Manzella side by side with Pearson for third as they go into turns three and four. Mantella to the outside. Can he get the RPM run? Can't quite get the bike coming off of turn number four. It's still going to go to Pearson. Pearson catfishing on the bottom, making it work. Getting to the door of Justin Gonzalez, but he'll carry the RPM run down the back straightaway. Out front, it is Jason Bannister. Still with the commanding lead. In the turns one and two, down the back straightaway, he'll go. Bannister by a straightaway has to come up turn number four. White flag will fly as we got one off the pace. Nick Spain Howard in the 40. 
Bannister now Pearson making the move on Justin Gonzalez in the turn number one and two underneath. He goes, he'll slip by, he'll get up second. As the checkered flag flies coming off a of turn number four, give it up for Jason Bannister. David Pearson in the number two spot, Justin Gonzalez, Austin Manzella, Matt Mayo, Adam Baker, and Nick Spainhoward rounding out the field. He's picking up right where he left off as he leads him down in the back front straight away to turns one and two. Kafer on the high side, a bit of a push. He gets on the binders, he's able to grab it and get good drive off of turn number two down the back straight away to three and four. Kiefer in the number one spot put. Blanket ship in the number two. Michael Black will be in the number three spot. They do pick up the 72 of Ryan DeForest rounding out your top three. Good battle for second as they go down the back straightaway. Michael Black all over the inside of the 17B of, of Tyler Blankenship. Around goes the 57 and three and four. He keeps the candle lit. We stay green. Jason Pugh all the way up from Clovis. May have been off the front bumper of the 72. She can't qu didn't quite catch that one. But out front, it is the 74 of Levi Kiefer. Tyler Blank in the chip, the 17B. Currently sits second. Michael Black, Billy Simpkins, Brock Crawford. Rounding out your top five. Kiefer by one second over the 17B of Tyler Blank ship. This time by for your leader. Lap time of a 16.156. That's three tenths better than Tyler Blank ship, 16.431. And Michael Black getting the pressure now from the Billy Simpkins as they come off a of turn number two. Simpkins takes a peek to the inside in three and four. Through the middle goes Simpkins. They're going to be side by side at the stride. Give it to Michael Black. Best battle on the track is for third. Black and Simpkins side by side coming off a of turn number two. Six laps in the books this time by for Levi Kiefer. It's Kiefer, Blankenship. Michael Black and Billy Simpkins. Simpkins trying to find her way around Michael Black, but Michael Black's hanging tough up on the high side. Black's dedicated to the cushion. Simpkins trying to make the middle work as the white flag flies one more time around for Levi Kiefer. It's Kiefer White, .917 over Tyler Blankenship. Here comes Billy Simpkins side by side for third as they go to the back straight away and it turns three and four. Checkered flag will fly coming off a of turn number four. Give it to Levi Kiefer. Blankenship in the number two spot. And Billy Simpkins going to pick up that top three. Lights are out. Green flag will fly this time coming off a of turn number four. Green flag is in the air. Whitworth's going to lead him down into turns one and two. Now here comes Ricky Childress Jr. already to the inside of the 61 to three and four. Around the outside goes Marcus Welcome, but it's going to go to the 16 of Ricky Childress Jr. for lap number one. Childress, Johnson, Welcome, your top three as they go down the back straight away. Good drive from the 16 holders heating and air conditioning machine. Ricky Childress Jr. getting it done, coming off a of turn number four. He'll lead him around one more time into, three, into turns one and two. Childress, Johnson, Welcome. Here comes Kyle Wood now, all, already going side by side with Kevin Irwin in the three and four. Irwin now takes a peek underneath the 56 of Marcus Wonkum. Can he get the drive coming off a of turn number four? Three wide at the strike. Give it to Marcus Wonkum. Excuse me, that's Matt Wonkum and Kevin Irwin side by side. Matt Wonkum makes some contacts right at the, the sling and dirt sign on the back straightaway. But no harm, no foul. He keeps it going in the 56. Great battle going on for third right now. Here comes Kay Wood, Kyle Wood, the number 21 machine. Getting to the left rear of the 74 of Kevin Irwin. Can't quite make it sticks. Big time push from the 74 of Irwin in three and four. Now they're going to be side by side at the strike, but give it to Irwin. But out front, it is all the 16 of the outlaw, Ricky Childress Jr., has four cars on the one end of Nicholas Johnson as Johnson trying new lines into turns three and four, trying to gain some ground on the 16 machine. Harrison Street Automotive Vehicle piloted by Ricky Childress Jr. We'll get the white flag next time coming off of turn number four as the 61X. A little bit sideways coming off of turn number four. That's Christian Whitwer. White flag in the air one more time around for the outlaw Ricky Childress Jr. He'll go down to the bottom side of turns one and two. Bring the one in with him of Nicholas Johnson. 
Best battle on the track should be for third right there between Kevin Irwin and the six, or the 21 of Kyle Wood. But coming up in turn number four, give it up for your winner, the outlaw Ricky Childress Jr. Over Nicholas Johnson, Kevin Irwin's going to be P3. Fourth is going to go to the 21 of Kyle Wood. Matt Walkham in the 56, rounding out your top five. Then you pick up the double nickel of Carl Nolan in the 61. Christian Whitwer. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Ricky Childress Jr. Pick it up right where we left off last night. At the front of the field for heat race number one of the H&S Body Works Hobby Stocks. Green flag is in the air. We've got a right front flat down on the 24 of Tyler Johnson as we take the green. You can see it just pushing over there. Turns one and two, so that's going to put Merchant out front in the 016 as they go into turns three and four. Merchant's going to lead him down into turns one and two. Jimmy the Chew Irwin's going to go underneath as the caution flag will fly. We've got the caution coming out for the 24 of Tyler Johnson. So that will end his effort for the heat race. You can see the right front flat on the number 24. And he'll make his way off of the racing surface. Tyler Johnson with the right front flat. So Taylor Merchant, he'll be out front in the 06 T. Green flag in the air. Run away with heat race number two for the H&S Body Works Hobby Stock Division. Your top three dedicated down to the bottom side. Merchant's going to get good drive off of two. Down the back straight where they go. Merchant, Irwin, and Mead. Jimmy Irwin with an early entry to turns three and four. Looking to get to the quarter panel. Can't quite get there. Coming off of turn number four. Still Merchant. Jimmy Irwin and Donnie Mead. Eric Simmental still right there in P4. Simmental hard on the binders, trying to stay off the backside of the 99. He'll do so as they go into turns one and two. Donnie Mead still taking a peek to the inside of Jimmy Irwin. That's good, clean, tight racing up front. Jimmy a little bit tight in the center of turns three and four. He'll push up to the heel. Here comes side by side now for Donnie Mead. Mead and Irwin. That's good, tight racing from some veterans. Looks like Donnie Mead, he'll get that pass done coming down the back straight away. Now he's going to work on the back side of the 016 of Tyler Merchant. Taylor Merchant now side by side at the stripe. Gives it the 99 that time by. We've got a new leader, the need for speed, Donnie Mead. Started inside row number three. Now he's all the way up to the point. Donnie Mead coming off a of turn number four. Good drive from the 99 of the Need for Speed. Donnie Mead coming around for lap number six. We got six down, two laps remaining. Jimmy Irwin kind of got stuck out in the middle of the racetrack trying to make the top work. He's going the wrong direction. Merchant now getting some pressure for the 25B of Eric Simmental as the white flag flies one more time around for Donnie Mead as he leads it by five going into turns one and two. Here comes Simmental. Now he'll get a little bit of a a bump to the 016. He'll drop back three as they come off a of turn number four. Donnie Mee picking up heat race number two. The 25B of Eric Simmons on the number two spot. Then you'll pick up Marcus Wonka, Jimmy Irwin, and the 016 of Taylor Merchant, followed by Nick Coffin. So, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the need for speed. Donnie Mee picking up the heat race win from inside row number three. Green flags in the air. We're underway with heat race number three for the Hobby Sack Division. It's Johnson and the 99T of Tui is around the outside. Here comes Dylan Wilson in the 80D. Wilson takes a peek around the outside of Steven Johnson as they go into three and four. It's going to be Johnson by a nose. Willen in the number two spot. Justin Tui in the number three, and here comes the 48X pulling double duty here tonight. That's Austin Manzella. Dylan Wilson a little bit sideways, a little free into turns three and four, but still gets good drive off of turn number four in the all-lit-up graphics number 80D. As he pushes up the hill into turns number one and two, he's got side-by-side -side now with the, ninth, or the 99T of Justin Tui. With that battle going on, it's Steven Johnson out front. Wilson, the number two spot. Justin Tui 
Johnny Wood, Austin Manzella, and Jackie Roberts. Steven Johnson still dedicated down to the bottom, on turns three and four, through the middle of the track, down the front straightaway, back down to the bottom into turns one and two. Dylan Wilson trying to get the high line to work for him, can't quite get the run down the back straightaway into three and four. So right now, it looks like the bottom is the preferred line for the 26S of Steven Johnson. So it's Steven Johnson, Dylan Wilson still one and two. Now Tui looks like he might get a little run off of two, but can't quite get the RPM run that Wilson does down the back straightaway. Five making six laps down this time by for your leader, Steven Johnson. Wilson looks like he might get a decent run this time coming off of two, but Steven Wilson still getting good drive coming off the bottom of the racing surface. White flag in the air one more time around for Steven Johnson. Steven Johnson, Dylan Wilson, can he get to this back bumper? They're going to be side by side as they go into turns three and four. Wilson, can he get a drive off of turn number four? He will not be able to do so. Give it to Steven Johnson. Dylan Wilson, the number two spot. Justin Tui in the number three. Lights are out. Eight cars going eight laps for the IMCA Modified Heat Race number one. Green flag is in the air. Robbie Sawyer down to the bottom side and turns one and two. Weinbarger up to the top side. And the, through the middle goes a 15B of the Dominator. Brad Pans Weinbarger drives it in deep into turns three and four. Weinbarger and Robbie Sawyer give it to Sawyer as they cross the stripe into turns one and two. Sawyer's down to the bottom side. Weinbarger the number, in the number two spot around the outside going into three and four. Weinbarger in the Rickenback Racing C9 machine around the outside. Give it to the 98 once again. Robbie Sawyer by .003 on the stripe for lap number two, but here comes the C9. He'll get around this time, and it turns three and four around the outside. We've got a new leader for lap number three. It's Colin Weinbarger. Robbie Sawyer in the number two spot. Brad Pounds, Trevor Fitz, Alyssa Smith, Austin Kiefer, Steve Pemberton, and Larry Wise rounding out the field for heat race number one. Your top three dedicated to the top. Trevor Fitz trying to make the bottom work into three and four. Fitz down to the bottom once again, trying to take a peek underneath the dominator. Brad Pounds is Pounds. Rips the lip and it turns one and two in that current asphalt razor chassis going down the back straightaway into three and four. But out front, it is all Colin Weinbarger and the victory circle chassis elite size number nine, C9. Robbie Sawyer, the number two spot, best battle on the track. Looks like, looks like it's between Alyssa Smith and the 331A and the 3AC of Austin Kiefer. That time by if you're leader with a 16.104, 16.104, fastest car on the track by four tenths. Over Robbie Sawyer, Brad Pounds, Trevor Fitz, Alyssa Smith, Austin Kiefer, Larry Wise, and Steve Pemberton. White flag in the air one more time around for Colin Weinbarger. Weinbarger all the way from Corbett, Oregon. Looking to pick up the win for heat race number one for the IMCA Modified Division. $5,000 to win on night number two of the CK Nationals. Give the heat race to Colin Weinberger. Robbie Sawyer, the number two spot. Brad Pounds, Trevor Fitzgibbon, Alyssa Smith, Austin Kiefer, Larry Wise, and Steve Pemberton. Randing out your field. Give it up for Colin Weinberger all the way from Corbett, Oregon. Picking up the heat race win for the Rickenback Racing C9. Can't cat out the 10 man. Rob Sanders inside road number two. Tom Smith, Michael Scruggs, or Brian Clark. As we have a little bit of issues coming to the stripe. Scruggs. Went around. I didn't quite see what happened right there. Went around coming to the, coming to the drop of the flag. Looks like maybe been off the nose off the 17th in. Up oh, the green flag's flying this time, coming off of turn number four. No surprise to the announcer, but we're good. Green flag racing for heat race number two. Kyle Heckman leads him down the back straight into three and four. Here comes the Sandman, Rob Sanders, trying to make the bottom work, coming off of three and four. Can't quite get it done as Troy Morris, the third up in P2. 
Heckman, Troy Moore's the third in the number two spot. The Sandman, Rob Sanders sitting third, but here comes the 31T of Tom, of Smith, Tom Smith. Smith is trying to get around the 10 end, can't quite do it that time off of turn number four. Two laps down, six laps remaining for the hitman, Kyle Heckman. Bill Henderson racing 111 next. That time by for your leader with a 16.045, 16.045 for Kyle Heckman. Troy Morris the third, 16.132. Looks like Morris is starting to gain some ground on the backside of the 111 next as he is ripping the lip over there in turns three and four. Five tenths of a second better that time by for Troy Morris the third. We're halfway through this one. We got four laps down, four laps remaining for the hitman Kyle Heckman, but here comes the 07X of Troy Morris the third. The young man from Bakersfield, California picked up his first IMCA victory just two weeks ago for a California Speed Weeks. As the 61 of Dalton Howard is going to pull it to the infield. Six flags, six laps in the book. White flag will fly next time. Coming off a of turn number four for the hitman, Kyle Heckman, Troy Morris the third, Rob Sanders, Tom Smith, Michael Scruggs, Steve Nolan, and Brian Clark. White flag in the air one more time around for the 111 X. Heckman a little tight in the turns one and two. Has enough lead over the 07X of Troy Morris the third. So coming around turn number four. Give the heat race win to the 111X the hitman. Kyle Heckman. Troy Morris the third sitting second. Rob Sanders in third. Tom Smith, Michael Scruggs, and Steve Nolan rounding out your top five. Dotson and Thornton. Green flag will fly. Ethan Dotson leads him down into turns one and two, slides himself as he goes off of turn number two, down the back straightaway he goes, side by side as around goes a 16 of Ricky Childress Jr. Caution flag will come out, so caution is out for Ricky Childress Jr. in the twin electric number 16 as around he goes on a back straightaway. Green flag is in the air. We're underway, underway with heat race number three for the IMCA. Modifies Ethan Dotson. Slides himself once again into turns one and two. Thornton now takes a peek to the inside as they're down the back straightaway into three and four. Ethan Dotson ripping the lip, and here comes the slider from the 38T. Can't quite clear the 174, so it's going to be Ethan Dotson out front. Dylan Thornton in the number two spot. Here comes Cody Laney pulling that left front all the way around the bottom side of turns one and two. You can see the wheel stopped as he goes down the back straight. He sets it down as he goes into three and four. Dotson, Thornton, Laney, Hogue, Rickenback. That is your top four. Top five. Now here comes a 13 of Jerry Flippo, but to the inside of Laney, here comes a 22 of Bobby Hogue, the fourth. So Hogue. Looking to get around Cody Lane. He can't quite get it done off of turn number four. We got three laps down. Five laps left to go for heat race number three. Best battle on the track is that 22 searching to try to get around the triple deuce of Cody Laney. But here comes a 7C slide job served from Rickenback. Can't quite clear. So Hoke still out front. But here comes a big time slider from Bobby Hogue. Unable to clear the triple deuce of Cody Laney. Out front, it is all Ethan Dotson. He's got a 1.3 second advantage over Dylan Thornton, the number two spot, Cody Laney in the number three. Ethan Dotson looking phenomenal in night number two for the IMCA Modified Division. Leads him around on lap number six. Ripping the lip over there in turns one and two. Down on back straight he goes. Last time over the 16.120 for Ethan Dotson. White flag will fly one more time around for the Terry Henry's race prep driver from right here in Bakersfield, California. Leads him by 2.32 seconds as it goes down the back straight away to three and four. Checkered flag will fly. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ethan Dotson. He race number two winner. Dylan Thornton from Dunkerton, Iowa, in the number two spot. Then you pick up Torrance, California's Cody Laney, the number three spot. Salinas, California's Bobby Hogue, the fourth. And Santa Maria, California's Clint Rickenback rounding out that top five.
So Ethan Dotson picking up right where we left off on night number one of the IMCA Modifieds. The Elite Signs, Terry Henry's Race Prep, CPD Shocks, Desert Promotions, number 174. Give it up for Ethan Dotson.